without sensationalizing any of the information that may have come out. And we want to thank you for being part of our team and the team that was able to deliver an examination to our children. As for our KCSE candidates, I would want to wish them well, that's the first thing. Two is to give them our assurance that uh, this examination will be seen for the first time by each one of them this morning, the English paper. And they'll be able to be seeing every other paper for the first time every other morning until we close the examinations on the 27th of November. I would want to urge all of us, parents, teachers, and all of us in the community that let's give these children an opportunity to be children. Let's give them an opportunity to give us their best. And I'm insisting on their best. That's the best of what our children will give us. Let's not put them pressure to give that which they cannot. Because sometimes this pressure that we give them to the deliverance, it's the results which are not of their ability, leads to them sometimes, uh, and our teachers sometimes, doing some of the things that we should not do. But if we give our, an opportunity to our children to deliver on their best, and we celebrate that best, whatever it is, then we shall have made them better citizens into the future. And I can assure them that each one of them has an opportunity to move forward and to go to the next level. We have adequate te technical training institutions, we have teachers' colleges, we have medical training centers, we have our universities. We have adequate space to take care of each of our children. And therefore, let's not pressurize them. Let's not put pressure on our children. Let's give them an opportunity to give us their best. And if they do that, then we shall be investing better into the future. And as a country, we shall be able to have a country with citizens who believe and practice what they say in terms of integrity. And I can assure you that the integrity of this examination, just like we did last week for KCB, will be ensured to be worth it the expectation of the Kenyan people is <coughs> that we shall deliver a clean examination. We are last week, as we are all aware, we have some challenges with the rain, but we are hoping that this week, the way it has started, that I think some of these challenges will not be as it was in our past week of examination. Again, I mentioned earlier that the Kenya National Examination Council has issued a circular to say that there's all as our deputy county commissioners and our sub-county directors, let's ensure that the container is opened at the right time at 6 o'clock. Anything earlier than that will be regular and it is not acceptable. You can open it later than 6 o'clock, 6.30, like in this place where the schools are just within it. There is no reason why we should not even open it at quarter to 7 or 7 o'clock because the proximity of where the examination is going is near. So once again, thank you very much. So maybe we can give this opportunity to go to school. thing I wanted to mention and the, the regional commission has mentioned is that this time we are focusing on ensuring that uh, we consolidate and we match properly our teachers and the security teams and we have consolidated them here as you can see in only three vehicles so that it is easier to manage the movement of the examination. And we have only three buses where we have all our security teams inside plus our head teachers to continue ensuring that the safety of examination moving from the container to the school is enhanced. And maybe in terms of uh, floods and the case in point is in Tanga River County where uh, the Mombasa Garissa Road has been cut off at Bibi area. Any mechanisms to make sure that the schools around there have been uh, then there's no effect into, into that into the examinations and also uh, a coastal problem 
the teenage pregnancy? Any uh, measures that we put in place to cover it? As for the road, uh, we have discussed it with our brothers and the colleagues in the security sector. They are already doing an assessment and uh, they will be able to signal us whether we have a standby chopper, they will signal us whether we need to come <coughs> fly the materials or the, the, the river will have subsided and now that the bus can cross. So an assessment is being done and we shall be able to ensure that our children are not disadvantaged. One thing I can say, and our cabinet secretary mentioned, is that uh, this year <coughs> the numbers on uh, pregnancies substantially went down. I think as parents we have started taking our responsibilities of ensuring that uh, we talk to our children, we engage them, and I think also as a, as a society we are starting to realize the essence of protecting our girl care. So we are grateful to all of us, to our parents, to the community, and to our children also for ensuring that uh, we take care of them and we take care of the bodies of our children. So this year I can say with a level of confidence that uh, this trouble has substantially gone down. We saw it in the primary school subsector last week. The numbers were extremely minimal. We are going to monitor as we start the KCSC to see the situation. But from last year, our biggest challenge was in the primary subsector. Mm. And what we have seen this year is substantially low. And we would want to believe that also in our secondary schools, it will be the same. <coughs> okay, maybe yeah, I think the on regional preg commissioner. On teen pregnancies, you know, our, that challenge arose from um, the practice of this matter. And Arusi Matanga, like we say. So here we've ensured that doesn't happen, and we'll continue with that crackdown until we are sure that when there is a, a funeral, or when there is a, you know, a party, and our children are not allowed to be exploited by older men, or even their own male uh, peers. So I think that should continue for as long as we can can manage and that's why you know in Philippi and Kuala we're seeing a reduction in the number of teen pregnancies uh, this year. And, and we want to urge the parents to agree and even our leaders to agree that uh, traditions occasionally have to be discarded when they pose a danger to the well-being of our children uh, so that continues on the issue of the road to Tana River I think we've already done a diversion on uh, the whole to Garissa Road, so that should help our buses move and get this move as well. Okay. So, if you're going to go to Jamaata, I'm here. Where you will take me? Yeah. 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 Yeah.